from the Storm Team Weather Lab, KMAC meteorologist Jacob Riley. Well, good Sunday evening. It was another nice day across the South Plains today. It's been pretty warm over this past couple of weeks, and it looks like that warmth will stick with us as we head into your work week this week. Out there tonight, though, from our Overton East Live Sky View, you can see the city lights here looking over downtown Lubbock from our Overton East camera. And but really no clouds or rain expected anywhere in the near future across the region. Out across the area, though, as we do take a look to our south and west, a few clouds there back towards the Baja Peninsula and the Gulf of California, but up near New Mexico and Arizona state line. A couple of high level cirrus clouds, but really not expecting much over our area tonight. Live and local temperature data does show that those temperatures are already a little bit chilly out across the area. 43 right now in Rawls and shallow water. 41 notice a dew point around 21. Dew point of 22 over 43 here at KMAC and in Denver City. 45 with a dew point of 19. So the bigger gap in those temperature and dew point just means that that greater of a chance for those temperatures to get even colder throughout the overnight hours tonight. Now, as we take a look at your hour by hour forecast for tomorrow morning, we'll start the morning off right around freezing. A lot of kiddos headed back to school for the first day tomorrow, so they're definitely going to need a bundle up, need that jacket tomorrow morning. But by the afternoon and evening hours, we'll be back up into the middle and upper 50s. A few lower 60s will be possible down off the cap rock as well. So over the next five days, we're going to see those above average conditions continue from now through Thursday. Notice Thursday, our warmest day, a high of 65. Average high this time of year is this white line around 52 degrees. A cold front moves through though Thursday night into Friday. That will help cool us off just a little bit more across the area. So with that cold front ahead of it, we're going to see some pretty gusty winds here Wednesday night into Thursday morning. Notice this is Wednesday around 9 p.m. Wind gust over 40 miles an hour will be possible right along the edge of the cap rock. That's where it looks like the strongest winds will be right now. But as we go throughout the day on Thursday, it looks like those winds will begin to subside and calm down here across the area. So as we go forward through time with that cold front as well here on Friday, maybe a couple of showers across northern portions of the area. But notice that most of the South Plains will be dry, but we can't rule out the possibility of a scattered shower or two possible between now on through your Saturday. So the best chance does look to be during the day there on your Friday. When we look at how much rainfall could accumulate, only around one one hundredth of an inch here in Lubbock. Notice a little bit heavier amounts off into southwestern Oklahoma. So really not expecting much here over the next seven days. And we've been pretty dry over the past month here in the hub city. So we're seeing these warmer temperatures now. And as we take a look at our six to 10 day temperature outlook, looks like well above average temperatures here in the southeast, but back off in the northwest. That's where you can find winter. Really the tale of two seasons here across the country. But notice right in this area, Lubbock, right around where we should be. So maybe just a little bit warmer over the next six to 10 days. We're going to continue to see those 60s across the region tonight, though 30 degrees can't rule out the possibility of one or two of those clouds making their way into our area. You see the word variable there. For your winds, winds will start off to the southeast late tonight, but as we go to the morning hours, shift more to the southwest and those southwesterly winds are what's really going to help bring in some more of that warmer air later on this week. Matthew 62 for Wednesday, 65 for Thursday. Those winds again really picking up Wednesday night into Thursday, but by Friday, that's when that cold front arrives, begins to cool things back off. Could see a stray shower too, and then a little chilly for Saturday, but Sunday of this upcoming weekend is going to be great. And I know a lot of kids are already looking forward to that mm -hmm. first weekend mm -hmm. after going back to school this next week, but again, a really not a bad weekend store for us here across the South Plains. For sure. I'm looking at that 23 right there, Jacob. It's going to make it hard to get out of the door Tuesday morning. Yeah, kind of, we're kind of in that season <laughs> where it starts off real cold in the morning and then yeah. you kind of you take off that jacket right. during the day and then by the time you get back home, it's cold again. Yeah, that's why this time of year we tell you to wear your layers. Not necessarily because it's going to be downright cold all day, but in the right. morning you need that jacket in the afternoon, you can get rid of it. But definitely kind of a big swing here in temperatures over the next couple of days. Gotcha. All right. Thanks, Jacob. Really appreciate that. Welcome